Surprise! I've, I've been a good sport about this stupid ass barn door. <laughs> We've replaced the hardware twice. Um, a third time, it's come complete like a like a like a roller just detonated. Pieces everywhere. We come in the barn doors like this. We've tried everything. We've tried a pool noodle. We just put a new strap in, right? To keep the door from coming open. Okay, to be fair, the strap worked. The strap worked Ish. great. The strap worked fantastic. It's still connected. The strap worked so good that it brought, it brought the piece of door with it. <laughs> uh, all right. So I think one of us needs to stand there while we open the slide because I can't move the door right now. So do you want to be the button pusher or the oh, door secure? Well, I think the door is being the button pusher right now. <laughs> <laughs> also, in all the thousands and thousands of miles we've driven, we never had to shoot, but shoot things go anywhere. So that's... Except this well, time! What the hell did we... We didn't hit any bumps. I didn't think so. The but washers then, in the middle of the... <laughs> if it weren't for that logo YouTube channel on the back of our RV right now, there'd be bad words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's people behind us literally mm -hmm. sitting outside. They weren't sitting outside. I think they came. They're like, someone's setting up. We need to come over here and watch. Mm. So they're looking for your positive influence right now. They probably said, oh, look, it's a grand design. I bet there are barn doors all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> because everyone was like, you know what? Not that anything has really gone wrong in like yeah. a little while. Let yeah. me fix that real So here, quick. here, here we I, go. I think the takeaway though really is that I did a great job with that strap. That strap held it in place. Amazing Look at how job. good that strap worked. I know. Let's go to a Grand Design rally and tell them, here's the thing, my friends. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show them this video. Give me some magical answer. It doesn't even need to open and close anymore. The kids now just get dressed in our room. They don't even care anymore about not being able to close the door. The guy the with the trailer is going to come by and I'm going to say, here, you fix this thing. <laughs> That's what I'm going to tell him because I'm done playing with this door. Oh, look at this. Oh, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, this is even better. Where is this even from? Where is this from? Up top. Up top. This cabinet here that <laughs> always threw pots and pans, and hey, so we put a five, we see? put a lock on it. But then all the other ones opened. These have never opened before, though. That's never. A first. That's a first. Yeah. Okay. First for everything. It's a so fun little great. first. This is fine. This is great. Everything's fine. Would be. Look, look how organized this was right Ooh. here. See all these nice uh -huh. little shelves. Was. Yeah. Look at that. Okay, that's fine. Do you know why I think this happened? I think we had too many microfiber towels. Oh, seems yeah, accurate. That's it. That's it. I think yeah. it was too many microfiber towels. What's this place called again? Arago Beach. Arago. 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 Oregano Beach. Arago. Arago. Let's go Arago. That sounds fun. Okay. Folks are gonna be uh, walking by me with my beanie hat and winter jacket <laughs> zipped up. I didn't know you had a hat. And they're gonna be like. Whoa, where the hell are these people from? Then you're gonna see the truck with the Florida plate. They're gonna be like, ah, <laughs> yes, there it is. I thought instead of a loose jacket and a windbreaker, I just broke out the heavy jacket. Well, I've been, it's I've been cold enough for the heavy jacket. But I, yeah, I've been wearing my. You probably see a lot of video over the last couple of weeks of me and my orange Columbia windbreaker, which is generally it's a for being just a windbreaker shell. It's really warm, but it is. I don't want to say it's significantly colder here in Oregon, but it is. It's chilly. Okay. Oh. Uh, this one's closed because of baby seal pups. Yeah. Could so, we so could we look and see maybe just just a little bit a little a little peeksy? Seal pups. So right now we're in the middle of seal baby season, and apparently. It is not uncommon this time of year to see seal pups out on the beach alone. And I guess looking online, like everyone's like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And Lee actually found on the, is that the, on the state park website? It's like, what do I do if I see a baby seal on the beach? They're like, leave it alone because mama's hunting. And yeah. she'll be back in just a minute. Just walk away and leave it alone. Yeah, so this whole 
path is closed from March 1st to June 30th because there's unattended seal pups. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Alright, maybe we can see them from the other side. And, and I love them. Yes. They're my I want friends them to be now. my pet. Yes. <laughs> what a gorgeous beach though. Look at all the wood wash stuff, it's crazy. You can see there was a you can see there was a big uh landslide right here in the middle. And I bet all those trees got washed out and then brought right back in. Oh man, look at this. What we found her favorite part? The small fence. Oh with the <laughs> I like the part with the fence. <laughs> oh the fe the sunshine. Oh All right, first time that we've been to a state park that has like Japanese style gardens. And in the background, you can hear the surf or right on the beach. This is the coolest thing. This is actually um, exactly like what I have in the RV, except mine is plastic from Ikea. So literally walk outside of probably the largest garden we have visited in a long time to walk through the forest over to the ocean. Yeah. This is unique. I was very inspired to see the Lion King. Looking at this rock. Did not know these people were enjoying a romantic picnic over here. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Uh, I also cannot sing, so my rendition of Lion King did probably not add to the romance. Temporarily lost Colby. <laughs> oh yeah, I see it. That's, that's geysery and well -y. And cold. <laughs> and, and cold. That's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> it is no such thing. It's so cold. So I guess people do go near the water and I bet those people are having a heck of an adventure and Maybe if I wasn't so anxious, I too would have an adventure. Good for them. I don't need that kind of adventure. <laughs> I'm good. I'm like good. I've been to Iraq three I'm times in Afghanistan <laughs> once. I've had all the adventure I can handle in a lifetime. I've driven on I-4 like a bunch of times. You know what I'm saying? I've been on I-95 <laughs> in Miami. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Let's go look at more things. So we're staying in Coos Bay, and one of the things that I couldn't wait to see here on the Southern Oregon coast was Circles in the Sand in Bandon. And it is incredible on weekend mornings, I guess Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday through yeah. um, this part of the year. Uh, a bunch of volunteers come out really early in the morning and design really neat art here on the sand. And like like over there. Up. Yeah, <laughs> it's super cool. So only thing we didn't plan was adequate jackets it's it's raw this <laughs> um, wind is yeah but it's worth it super cool so we're gonna yeah. go down and check it out on the sand okay so i'm gonna be open and honest the 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 circles in the sand is really cool the artists that come out here and do it incredible i'm most enamored by like how they put it all together so that's cool but i'm just wandering around i was just talking about the circles in the sand are cool and like it's amazing how they like coordinate everything because there's like multiple people with like rakes right so like, how do they do it without getting trapped, right? But then like, I can't stop looking away from all this. No, look, like, even like right here. This is incredible. Like, look at all these lights. Yeah. You probably can't tell until you get close. There's like a million starfish. Oh, right yeah. Here. There are starfish everywhere. Look at them buried in the sand. There's just, there's literally, they're everywhere. These little circles are anemones. Yeah. Yeah, all these circles. Here. Is there? Yeah, right inside there. We're missing. He's moving back. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. 